I love juvenile fiction. Last week, I posted an episode about how much I love the Del Toro series by Emily Rada. I actually had to film this episode twice because I shot it the first time and I got it onto my camera and I started watching it and I realized I spent half of the video apologizing for loving the Del Toro books, saying things like, I, I know they're simply written, they're for children, or I, I know these are kid books, but... And I got mad at myself. Why was I apologizing for reading something that I love? I feel like this is really common in the reading world. I've seen it a lot with people who read young adult fiction, feeling embarrassed for reading books meant for teenagers. Well, you guys are ahead of me because I'm reading books meant for six-year-olds. But it shouldn't be something to be ashamed of. Reading shouldn't be a competition. You know, so often I feel like I have to read classics, not because I enjoy them, but because I want to brag about how many intelligent books I've read. Guys, I read Shakespeare because he's funny. I don't read Ernest Hemingway way because he depresses me. That's as complex as it gets. I don't like some classics because I find them too dark and depressing, so I don't read them. I don't feel like this is something negative about my character. I'm on the defensive. I'm aware that I'm on the defensive. And that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to celebrate juvenile fiction, to talk about why I love this genre so much. What do I love about juvenile fiction? Specifically, juvenile fantasy, to me, is so explorative. The world is so new when you're a kid. Even when you're 10, 11, 12, there is still so much scope. The world is still so full of mystery. And I feel like that goes away as we get older, and it shouldn't. The world is still just as amazing. And I love reading juvenile fantasy because it reminds me of that. We get to go on these epic adventures through fantasy worlds and everything is just amazing. It's written with a sense of awe. There's disillusionment in older books, books written for adults, even young adult novels. I'm not saying anything against those books. YA novels are great. I even enjoy some myself. but. Juvenile fantasy has this innocence, has this purity, has this wonder. I love looking at the world like it's amazing. I love exploring fantasy worlds to see how cool they are. Not to see how broken they are, not to see how horrible life is, but to see how exciting life is. I also feel like juvenile fiction focuses on some very core truths of good versus evil, light versus darkness. Very simple but powerful truths. The older you get, the more into gray matter you get, the more into these complex moral dilemmas, rather than just, are we choosing good or are we choosing evil? And to me, the choice should be simple. I really like seeing it spelled out like that. You know, maybe I am naive, maybe I am a little simple, but I like a simple world. I like a happy world. I feel like there's still depth in books that are meant for children and there's a magic there that you don't get anywhere else and maybe I'm just not ready to let go of my childhood but I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing, you know? I have to face the real world every day. Reading for me is kind of escapist. I don't read to have my life be changed. I don't read to feel sad. I read to go on an adventure. I read to have fun. I read to escape some of the difficult difficulties in my life. You know, life is hard. And I think everybody copes with that differently. You know, I find that as a writer. I know a lot of people who struggle with depression who write really sad, dark things because they're going through sad, dark things in their life. It's cathartic for them. When I go through my really dark periods of depression, I write my happiest stuff. I write things that I could never use because they're so happy. There isn't even any conflict. It's like everything is happy. I love juvenile fiction because there is conflict, but I know the ending will always be happy. And I know that it won't be really heavy and dark and depressing on the journey. I don't need to be reminded that life is hard. I know life is hard, guys. I need to be reminded that there is hope. And that is why I love juvenile fiction is because there's always hope. My question for you today is what is your preferred genre and why do you like it? Do you ever feel guilty for enjoying your favorite genre? Do you ever feel like you should be reading something else? If so, don't because whatever you love to read is great because you love to read it. Anyways, let me know as a comment. I'd love to have a discussion on this. Thanks for watching and happy reading. I'm gonna cry. I don't want to cry. <laughs>